Lewis acid among the following is the options are BF3, NH3, CH3O, CH3 and H2O. Students among the given options the only electron deficient species is BF3 and the rest of the species that is NH3, CH3, OCH3 and H2O are electron rich species. In BF3 the octet of boron is incomplete or we can say that BF3 is an electron deficient species as a result it can act as a Lewis acid that means the correct answer is option number A. So moving to the next question. Which of the following sets of quantum numbers is not possible? Let us start number A n equals to 4, L equals to 3, m equals to minus 2 and s equal to plus half. Student this is a possible set of quantum numbers. Moving to the next option n equal to 3, L equal to 0, m equal to minus 1 and s equal to plus half. Student this is not a possible set of quantum numbers because here the value of m is minus 1 and the value of l is 0. For this we need to know that the value of m varies from minus l to plus l. If the value of l is 0 the only value of m that can be possible is 0. Moving to the next option n equals to 4, l equals to 0, m equals to 0, s is equals to minus half. This is also a possible set of quantum numbers. Moving to the last option n equals to 3, l equals to 2, m equals to minus 2 and s equals to plus half. Student this is also a possible set of quantum numbers. That means the correct answer for this question is option number B. So moving to the next question, minimum ionic radii among the following is off. The options are CE 3 plus, PR 3 plus, SM 3 plus and EU 3 plus. Students for this question we need to know in lanthanoid series the ionic radii decreases as the atomic number increases. Therefore, the correct order of ionic radii among the given options is highest is for Ce3 plus that is cerium ion followed by Pr3 plus further followed by SM3 plus and the least ionic radii is of EU3 plus. That means the correct answer is option number D. Moving to the next question, ambidentate ligand is C2O4 2 minus, NO2 minus, EDTA4 minus or H2O. Students in this question we are given with four options and we have to identify that which is an ambidentate ligand. And for that first of all we have to understand ambidentate ligand. So, ambidentate ligands are unidentate ligands which have two different donor sites. Let us start C2O4 2 minus student this is a bidentate ligand. Number 2 NO2 minus student this is an ambidentate ligand with two different donor sites one is nitrogen and another is oxygen. Moving to next EDTA4 minus student this is a hexadentate ligand. Moving to the last H2O student this is a monodentate ligand. That means the correct answer is option number 2. Moving to the next question faster rate of SN1 reaction is given by which molecule? Students in this question we are given with four different molecules and we have to identify that which will react via SN1 reaction with fastest rate. So student for this question we need to understand that the intermediate so formed in SN1 mechanism is carbocation. So the compound which gives the most stable carbocation will react fastest via SN1 mechanism. So among the given options option number C will give the most stable carbocation. Let us see the reaction. Here I am taking the compound. So, when Br- minus will be eliminated, the carbocation so formed will be this. This carbocation will be resonance stabilized. Let us see. This carbocation is resonance stabilized. Now, student because of this resonance the carbocation will be highly stable and will react fastest via 
S N one mechanism. We can clearly see that the nucleophile attack will take place, and finally the compound will be this. That means among the given options, the compound which react fastest via S N one mechanism is given in option C. Thank you so much, students. That was my last question. I hope this video solution is helpful for you all. All the very best and be safe.